you guys. I'm here with Mike and Jarrah at Bartolica. We're about to try some Italian beers. Mike, before we do that, why don't you tell us a little bit about Bartolica and what you guys do here? Uh, Bartolica, uh, what we do is we're an authentic Tuscan restaurant. Uh, we do a lot of small plates, a lot of sharing, uh, very open air, uh, alfresco dining, great pizzas, uh, makes a great uh, share plate, sharing plates for family and friends. Uh, we go authentic as possible. Brian, the owner, his wife, uh, the technical chef, sometimes they go over to cook it really once or twice a year to do some research and bring those recipes back and uh, do it in the restaurant. Do it on the plate. So before we get too far into this, I kind of want to just address the pink elephant in the room here. Yeah. When people think beer, there are certain countries that come to mind. Sure. Uh, like I'm thinking right now, I'm thinking Germany, sure. Belgium, Ireland, the United States. I'm probably going to go like 10 more countries until I get to Italy. Sure. Now that said, here at Barlipa, you guys have put together quite an amazing list of craft beers. Now I'm really interested in how difficult it is to find those beers in America. It's it's not easy. It was a you know a process of calling different distributors and um, finding out what they could bring in, what they could carry specifically for us. Um, so we do have a couple of distributors, uh, not not great in this area per se, but they do um, bring us some of these Belgian beer that you see here at uh, the Craig Group. Italy, really popular. And actually, I kind of want to touch on it while we have the bottles right here. Um, Italy is kind of where we were 20 years ago as a country of beer. Uh, we started doing the micro brews. Uh, Italy now is starting to get to that point where Peroni, you know, the beer people think of when they think of Italy, they're starting to branch out with different hops, different grains, different styles. They're even working with some of the finer wines of Italy to incorporate that flavor in. Um, Baladin's kind of leading that revolution, and you guys have it on tap here. Is there something here that, like moving forward as Italy, the microbrews are coming in, is there something that I should be looking for? Um, my personal favorite, I think, is really good is this uh, uh, super right here. Super, okay. Yeah, pretty good. It has um, like a dry fruit flavor. It has um, a little bit hoppy, but it's like a very good beer. Okay. So I guess I one of my superpowers is the ability to pair beer with literally any activity, um, from food to reading, to exercise even. Um, <laughs> it's a good superpower. Yeah, it is a great superpower. <laughs> I, I've been to some fine Italian restaurants like this that when I say like, I'd like to pair you know, beer with food where I can get a cane slot. Yeah. Now you guys have an amazing menu downstairs. Do you feel comfortable in saying that beers like Baladin or even Hermes, do you think that we can say that they do pair well with Italian food? Absolutely. Um, I don't think there's a better combination of pizza and beer. Yeah. And that's one of the things that we really great is pizzas. And you have a variety longer that we got left out here. A nice slight beer. So yeah, there's different options. Um, the staff's fully trained them on that stuff. They can guide you through that and uh, you know, make sure they have the right beer for right food. Awesome. So I guess this is a beer box where we're, we're focusing on beer. I've noticed that you have a wide selection of kind of parts of spirits too. Absolutely. Is there a cocktail that I was to stray from beer for the night that I should look into? Absolutely, the Apple Springs. Um, if you're ever in Tuscany, if you're in Luca, Luca Italy, um, at the hour, you go down any street, there's an open air bar just like you know, we have here in our patio, and everyone's drinking Aperol Spritz or drinking Prosecco. Aperol Spritz is going to be the Aperol and Prosecco, and it's a little bit so it's delicious. Um, we're that, and next week we're going to do a brewing uh, discussion. Of course, he's going to try our new brewing, he's very popular. Alright, so um, if you guys want to try something different, come on down and try some authentic Italian beer. Come on down to Bar Luca, where they have amazing beer and amazing food. As always, you can follow me at Not Scott Greenly on Twitter. Make sure you tweet me your beer related shenanigans and Kacha Hocking. And as always, make sure you check out morethanacurve.com for all the latest news and events. Until next time, I'm going to be there Hey guys, we're here again with Chris Evangelos from the Below Deck Bottle Shop here at Flanagan's Boathouse. We're sampling some of my favorite beers from Kacha Hocking Brewery. Kacha Hocking Brewery just took home Best New Brewery from Philly Beer Scene. Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the beers you have from Conchahocken? Well, right now we have three different options in stock from Conchahocken Brewery. Their flagship beer is the Conchahocken ESB, and then there's also the Conchahocken IPA. 
And now we just got in their seasonal, which is the Kajakin Saison. So all of these beers are available here for mix and match, or if you want to grab four packs to go. I mean, if you're not able to make it to the brewery, you can always stop down here below deck and pick some up and enjoy some of the local options. So guys, if you can't make it to Conchhocken Brewery, come on down to the Bullet Deck Bottle Shop here at Boat Boathouse where they have Conchhocken Brewery and so much more.